low carbohydrate diets work because it controls insulin level. When you're trying to lose body fat and you're trying to lose weight, one of the main things that causes our body to store the most body fat mm -hmm. is when your body takes in too much sugar, too much carbohydrates, which causes your pancreas to release too much insulin. And if you're really overweight uh, or have tendency to have trouble managing your weight and tend to be, let's say, 50 pounds overweight is a pretty good number, then what ends up happening is when you eat carbohydrates, your body has to release more insulin into, into your bloodstream. So your body ends up having to shuttle the sugar that's you, that you take in and put it into your cells. Now, when, when you are insulin resistant or not as good at clearing insulin out of your, uh, your blood sugar out of your body because of the, your insulin production, what ends up happening is your body will store more fat or your body will start to produce more insulin, which causes you to store more fat. So when you eat lower carbohydrates, what happens is you kind of negate that effect completely, meaning that when you eat, you know, since you're not eating sugar, breads, rice, and pastas and grains and stuff like that, what ends up happening is your body doesn't have to produce any insulin or doesn't produce as much insulin. I should, I should take that back. You don't, your body keep, continues to produce insulin, but what happens is that your body is able to not produce as much, allowing your body to be in a better fat burning zone. Because when your insulin level is elevated, typically caused by increased carbohydrate intake, your body cannot lose weight or has difficulty burning fat. Second, this is why low carbohydrate diets work, is because what the other thing too is that Carbohydrates for most people have to tend to have an appetite stimulating effect. When they have an appetite stimulating effect, you can guess it's going to cause you to want to eat more. And if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to eat less uh, by reducing your caloric intake. And the third thing I'll say is um, protein has a higher satiety value. Um, when you have a higher, so if you're fuller, you'll be fuller longer. And causing you to not have to eat nearly as much food. Also, people who tend to eat more protein tend to be more lean and tend to be more muscular. And that's a positive thing, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Um, and the last thing that I'll add there is don't be afraid of fat. Because when you go on a low carbohydrate diet, you tend to have more fat and more protein. And by calories, your fat intake is higher, usually about 40 to 50%. That's actually not a bad thing at all. Typically, if you control sugar intake, Fat will not cause you any problems. So trust me when I say that. Fat is good for you. Of course, you want to stay away from trans fats, stuff like processed foods and stuff like that. But keep in mind that if you have a low carbohydrate intake, high protein, and just moderate fat intake, what will end up happening is you'll have a better success at weight loss. And that's why low carbohydrate diets work.